Hi everybody, it's Senpai Marissa. Welcome back to our online dojo. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to be going over our yellow orange belt curriculum. However, if you haven't watched the yellow belt curriculum video, I highly recommend that you do that first, just because the concepts that I explain in that video do relate to the to the basics that I'm going to be going over today. Um, it's also a great review for the kids, just so they, they don't forget their yellow bell curriculum as well. Okay, so it's a nice little warm-up, nice little review before we get started with our yellow orange belt curriculum. So in this video, I'll be doing uh, your high block, I'll be doing the roundhouse kick, yellow orange belt combinations, and the kata, which is taikyoko jodan. So get ready, go watch that other video first, and then we'll get started. Alright, so let's get started with our high block. So you're going to start with your left hand up over your head. I want you to imagine like you're making a house over your head like this and you're blocking like that. Okay, so the palm of my hand is facing out. You don't want it this way or the other way around. So the palm of my hand is facing outwards and you're not resting it on your forehead. Okay, so make sure you're out here. Alright, and make sure it's on an angle as well because if something hits you, you want it you want to imagine like it's going to slide off here. Okay, other hand is in chamber. So we're going to break it down. This hand is going to come down. We're going to make our X on top, just like how we did for our middle block. We always X on the outside, never on the inside. Okay, so X on top. You're going to come up and block. Okay, come down, X on top, block. Okay, right over your head. Come down, X on top, block. Come down, X on top, block. Okay, so now let's do it with breathing. I'm going to count. Ready? Go one. Go two, down, X, block. Go three, down, X, and go four, down, X. Good. Let's do it a little bit stronger with ki this time. Ready? Go one, aya. Two, aya. Three, aya. And four. All right, so we're gonna be going into your yellow orange bell kick, which is your roundhouse kick. So when we do a roundhouse kick, you need to make sure that you're pointing your toes all the way down, okay? And that your ankle is straight. It's no use if you're pointing your toes like this and your ankle is still that way. You need to point your ankle all the way down, okay? Because you're going to be hitting with the instep here, which is the top of your foot, okay? So I'm gonna get my target over here. My dad's gonna help me demonstrate. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna go over here. When you do your roundhouse kick, a side kick you're supposed to be pushing, but a roundhouse kick you're coming around and I want you to pretend like you're slapping somebody. Okay, so from here, I lift, you can put your hand up here. I lift my chamber up. I'm going to come around, hit his hand, chamber, and then back down. Okay, so make sure you're coming around, slap, and here. And parents, you can help your kids as well. You can give them a target for them to hit. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're gonna start off with our six steps to a roundhouse kick. So I'm gonna demonstrate this way. So left hand is forwards, and I'm going to put my fighting stance on. So let's do the six steps all together. Make sure you're pointing your toes down. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, one more time, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And last time, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome, I'm gonna shuffle over. We're gonna do it on the other side now. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, go, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And last time, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's change it right away. We're gonna go into our single, so I just want you to slide up, breathe, and then slide back. Okay, still a success, we're not just, we're just not saying it anymore. Ready, go one, slide up, and slide back. Ready, go two, and slide back, three, and slide back. So this is the part where you can get your parents to help you and have a target in front of you. Okay, ready, and the other side, let's do it with ki. -ai. Ready, go one, aya, go two, aya, and go three, aya. All right. Now let's do our doubles, okay? So now we're gonna slide up, chamber low, chamber high, chamber down, and then slide back. We're gonna go aya, aya on both kicks. 
Okay, from here, slide up, aya, aya, and then slide back. Two, aya, aya, slide back, slide up three. Aya, aya, and slide back. Other side now, ready, go. Aya, aya, slide back, slide up two. Aya, aya, slide back, and three. Aya, aya, slide back. Good, and hey, about us. So for your doubles, there's a little drill that you can do with your parents if they wanted to come help you out. So my dad is going to help demonstrate with us. Okay, so from here I'm going to put my fighting stance on. And make sure when you're, when you're holding up your hands that they're both facing the same direction, okay? Because we're going to be doing our doubles. So we're going to slide up, hit the target low, hit the target high, and slide back. And it's something that's a little creative because we don't have our kicking paddles at home. So again, slide up, low, high, and then back. Okay, and then we're gonna demonstrate on the other side. Hands out, fighting stance on, slide up, low, high, and back. One more time, low, high, and back. Okay, so it's something fun that you can do with your kids, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take the bases that we just practiced and put them together in our combinations. Our yellow-orange belt combinations are very similar to the yellow belt ones. Um, that's why I wanted you guys to watch that video first before watching this video just because when we do our combinations instead of doing our middle block we're changing it to our high block and instead of doing our side kick we're changing it to a roundhouse kick okay so just follow me with our combinations hands up on set ready so your right hand is gonna raise come underneath high block breathe punch ki I am ready now from here you're gonna scoop underneath step forward fighting stance now we're going into six steps of a roundhouse kick. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and breathe out, set, <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, let's do it a little bit stronger one more time. Ready, raise, under, high block, breathe, <laughs> punch, aya, aya, step forward, set, six steps, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and breathe out, <laughs> good. Okay, now combination number two, we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Ready, so now left hand raise, under, high block, one, punch, kia, aya, scoop, under, step forwards. Ready, six steps to a roundhouse kick, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and set, and good. Let's do it one more time a little bit stronger, raise, under, high block, punch, aya, aya, step forward, set, six steps, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, and set. Now, combination number three. Let's do it slow. Ready, this hand is going to raise, under, high block, punch, aya. Here, set, other side, raise, under, breathe, punch, ki aya. Now, right away, step forward here. Okay, now instead of doing our six steps, we're gonna do low, high, double roundhouse kick, okay? Slide up, aya, aya. And slide back, jump switch feet, other side, slide up, aya, aya, and slide back. Okay, and set. Let's do it one more time. Ready, raise, under, breathe, punch, aya. Ready, down, other side, raise, under, breathe, punch, aya. From here, step forward, double. Ready, slide up, aya, aya, and slide back, jump switch feet, other side, aya, aya, and slide back, and set, height, and about this. Awesome job, guys. So we're going to hop into the kata. Hopefully by now, by watching the other videos, you guys are used to seeing me do the kata um, by filming from behind me. Just a reminder that my TV is going to be the front, and wherever you're putting this this video up, make sure that's going to be your front as well. So if I'm moving towards the TV, I'm going towards the front. If I'm moving away from the TV, I'm going to the back, okay? And just remember that I'm doing the kata in the direction that you should be doing the kata as well. So we should always be moving in the same direction, okay? So let's get right into it. So just remember that this kata is exactly the same as Taikiyoku Chude and the yellow belt kata, except we're changing the middle block to a high block. So all the key points that I stated in the last video remain the same for this kata as well. So let's get into it. Mukso. Taikiyoku Jodan. Right hand raise, come underneath, 
High block one. Just need to get in the frame. Ready and step forward, punch two. Chamber hand goes on top, punching hand, high block all the way in behind three. Step forward, punch four. Chamber hand goes on top, punching hand, high block to the front five. Punch one, punch two, chamber kick, chamber TI. I. Chamber hand goes underneath, back foot steps all the way in behind, high block nine. Step forward, punch ten. Chamber hand goes on top, punching hand behind, high block 11. Step forward, punch 12. Chamber hand goes on top, punch hands to the back, 13. Punch one, punch two. Chamber kick, chamber key eye. Eye up. Chamber hand goes underneath, all the way behind, high block. Step forward and punch. Chamber hand goes on top and straight to the front. Good, up, over, end it. And that was. So I'll do a quick recap of the tips and tricks that I mentioned in the last video for Taikiyoko Chudan because they are the same for this kata as well for Taikiyoko Jodan. So the first one uh, was the trick that I teach the kids uh, to be able to know which hand is going to be blocking next. So if you listen to the counting of the kata, you'll hear the instructor saying chamber hand goes on top or chamber hand goes underneath. So whichever hand or whichever arm is on the bottom uh, after we say this is going to be the hand that's going to be blocking next So I'll demonstrate if I say chamber hand goes on top So from here chamber hand goes on top like this This hand is going to be on the bottom this arm is on the bottom So that means this hand is going to be the one that does the block next Okay, and then if I say chamber hand goes on the bottom chamber hand underneath like this This hand is obviously on the bottom. This is going to be the arm that does the block next Okay, so watch out for that when you're watching them do the kata. Another thing is, I want you to watch their punches. I don't want anybody punching like this. And I know a lot of kids create a bad habit because of the chamber hand underneath and they try to punch. But the chamber hand on top, chamber hand underneath is only for our blocks, okay? So make sure when you're punching, you're punching straight from your chamber, turning it over last second. Okay, we don't want to be coming around like this. Okay, so from your block, make sure you're coming from the chamber, punch out, punch straight. Okay, and the last trick or the last uh, thing to watch out for was the kick. So the yellow orange bell curriculum kick is your roundhouse kick, but in the kata, we still stick to our front kick. So make sure when we do our kata, you're making sure you lift your chamber nice and straight, front kick chamber, and then land, okay? If you don't lift your chamber straight, if you lift it up like this, it's gonna turn into a different kick. That's not a front kick. So from here, chamber straight, kick chamber, and then down. Okay, so make sure you're doing front kicks for the car. All right, everyone, so keep it up. I know you're all doing an awesome job at home, you and your parents. Uh, keep practicing a little bit every single day, and I hope to see you all soon back at the dojo. All right, online classes, thank you.